When you first load up ArcGIS Pro, you're met with this base map, which is World Topographic Map and World Hillshade. This increases in detail as you zoom in. So now we have state labels, we have the major cities. As we zoom in, we see more cities, more roads, more ponds, more lakes, more labels. So increasing details as we zoom in. So now we see Misery Ridge and Misery Knob. Now, Let's say that we want to see air photos instead of terrain and hillshade. That will be under Map, Base Map, and we can choose Imagery or Imagery Hybrid. Let's try Hybrid. That will show roads and other features in addition to our air photo. So we still see Adams Dam Road and Millican Farm Road. And here's Misery Knob. Let's zoom in and zoom out. And there's where we were in the great and good state of Maine. Let's try out this Locate tool, also located under Map, Locate. And type in an address. Let's try the school's address, 23 University Drive. I just got this far in the video and realized I probably shouldn't type in my home address and post it on YouTube. So here we see we have not given it enough detail. So we've seen 23 University Drive. And that's plopped us in Northwest 23rd Street in Coral Springs, Florida. We need to give more detail. 23 University Drive, Fort Kent, Maine. And there we are. That is our campus. So that is where that point is falling. But if you were actually to send mail to the campus, it would end up in the mail room here. So let's use the measure tool to find out the distance between where the address is and where the mail actually goes. That's under measure. And we want to have this in feet. Click once to start. We can already see the measurement here, but if we double click, it will finish. And we have a segment length of 343.07 feet at a bearing of 58 degrees. And there you have it, the distance between the address point and the actual location where the mail goes.